Hey, so you're wondering how to turn your phone into a megaphone or like a microphone. If you don't have a microphone and you want to use your phone, you'll have to also have a Bluetooth speaker for the method I'm talking about. If you have an Apple device, unfortunately I don't think it's available for Android, at least this specific app, you might be able to find others, you can download an app called Microphone and I will show you a picture of it over, let's go here. And it is created by Von Bruno. Bruno! <laughs> There's actually two versions of the app. There's a free one and a paid one. The paid one is supposed to be better, but I feel like the free version will do just fine for what we're talking about. So you'll need to learn how to put on Bluetooth. If you don't know how, you'll have to look that up or get someone to help you. Maybe someone of a younger generation sometimes, or just a friend that might be familiar with how to set up Bluetooth. I personally have this Bluetooth speaker. I think it's SoundLink, but I think there's two of them now. Um, this is the first version, and I already have it paired to my phone. So here's the app that I use. Remember, this is the paid version. It's $4.99 for the paid version. You can sing along with songs, and apparently you can change mics and such. Um, but the free one is just fine. Let's see if I can show you the free one. Free one looks just like the paid one, except it says free. So it's in the App Store. All right, so I have it paired, and I'm just going to open up the app. And this is already paired, remember, and I selected, it's a small room here. You can select the different kinds of rooms that you're going to be in. Okay, and I'm going to turn this on, but I'm going to place it a little further because it starts to make a funny sound once I put it close to uh, the phone. Connected to James iPhone. Yeah. Okay, so let's put it over here and see if you can hear it. Ooh. Can you hear it? Ah, it's really loud. Um, so, so you can. can <laughs> this is really funny. You can change the volume on your mic. So here it's going down. Or you can change it on your Bluetooth, and I can hear it change when I'm accessing the volume buttons on my phone as well. But yeah, it works just fine, and with this app, I can just turn it on or off with a tap of a button. It's echoey. It, there's only a slight echo, so let's turn this off. Alright, and it's off. So on and off, there's only a slight echo. This is going to be fine for me because my classroom, I would say it's a fairly large classroom, but there's a lot of students in it, about 60 at one time, and they all have a desk. So it, it's great because they're going to be a little further away from me. The system that the school offers is going to be a wired one, and I don't feel comfortable with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this app, this phone, and I actually bought a microphone to fit into the lightning port of my iPhone because there's no regular jack. Um, so I'm just going to place that on my vest or whatever I'm wearing when I'm teaching. And that's it. I'm going to concentrate on using this as much as I can so all the students can hear me. Hopefully this little tip was helpful. I don't know of one for Android at the moment but I haven't done any research into it so if you know one for Android, Windows, or other devices out there nowadays, Kindles, I don't know. <laughs> Just share it in the comments below. If you have other questions on applications that you would like to hear for my suggestions, please ask at the bottom. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe. Bye!